Okay, so my software is installed, it's hooked up to the plumbing system. Now it's time to start pressurizing my system. First thing is make sure that the bypass, in this case the factory bypass, make sure that the bypass is in bypass position, like this. For more information, just look in the installation uh, instructions, it's all uh, explained there also. So now my softener is in bypass. First thing I'm going to do now is, now I can open up my main water supply again. Okay. Of course, there's no water going to the water softener yet because the water softener is in bypass. But there will be air inside of the system, inside of the, the, the plumbing system. And what I want to do now is just open up a kitchen faucet somewhere downstream from the installation. Let the water run for maybe one or two minutes to make sure that all the air, all the impurities that may result from the installation are washed out of the, the installation. Once that is done, now it's time to pressurize my water softener. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to gently, I'm going to open up the inlet like this on the factory bypass. And in fact, what's happening now is now my water softener is being pressurized. So now water is flowing in, into my water softener, but of course inside of the water softener, the pressure tank, the pressure tank is completely filled up with air. So that air is being compressed at this moment because the water cannot go out. Now I'm also very slowly, I'm going to open up my outlet. Okay. And I'm going to open up my kitchen faucet again for a couple minutes. I'm going to open it very slowly, very gently, because initially there's going to be a lot of air that comes out. So that's what I want to do now. And once that is done, my system is, um, is pressurized and I can go to the next step, which is primarily um, I can program it. Now, before I program it, I'm going to put the cover back on. But before putting the cover back on, I'm just going to verify if there's nothing leaking, if there's none of my hydraulic connections are leaking. Everything is looking great, so perfect. I think I can now put the cover on and then next step will be programming the, uh, the electronic timer.